So this is a long time in the making. The Behringer Wing Edit app is finally out and I am super excited to be able to finally adjust things and check things out on my mix from my computer. The iPad app is great. However, I really like the computer as well for different scenarios. So let's dive right in. I have a screen recording that I am going to go through with you guys as I didn't have time to record a quick video, but I did do a little screen recording of when I first set it up. And this is literally the first time I set it up. So it is very quick. Let's dive in and I will show you my favorite features. All right, so the first thing you're gonna have to do is go to Behringer's website or Music Tribe and download the Behringer Wing Edit app. Once you do that, you'll be able to add it to your applications. And as you see, I have it on my desktop. So without further ado, we're just gonna open it up. When you do, it's gonna look very familiar. I'm not connected. So we're gonna go to setup and then find your wing. You might have to refresh or rescan, press connect. And then always do mixer to PC. That way anything you do on the mixer will translate over to here and be the actual control source. Then you have a home, just like any other screen. It looks extremely similar to the way everything else does. Um, here you have your main view, you have your effects, meters, showing you everything going on. And then you have your routing where you can change everything, where it's placed and all of that. You have your regular setup that we've already seen. And then you can do some general changes and then you can adjust your audio stuff. And then from there, we can go into our monitoring and you can assign your mute groups, which is really cool. You have channels one through 16, 17 through 32, 33 through 40. And then it also allows you to have channels one through 40. And then you just scroll all the way to the right and everything is in numerical order. However, mine is a mess, so don't judge me. I just use my users to get everything where I want it. You have your aux channels, your buses, and then your main matrix and DCAs and all of that. You have your talkback features. You have talkback A and B that you can select right there. Now, other than that, this is extremely, extremely similar to the way the wing is laid out. The only thing is you don't have user defined channels. So that does kind of suck. However, it does look like you can move channels around which is very convenient, but you will not really miss anything that the console can do that you can't do from right here. Just you can't move multiple faders at once, obviously. The EQ and all that is really cool to be able to mess with that from your computer. Um, other than that, I don't really see any differences than you would with the X32 or Midas apps that they already have out. They're all very similar. However, this one is just branded exactly like the wing and is obviously compatible with the wing. Now, I hope that this helps you set up your wing edit app and gives you another idea of how you can control your console very quickly and efficiently. If you have any questions, please drop them down in the comments. As always, I appreciate all the likes, all the subscribes. We are over the 200 mark and I am so excited about that. So if you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and I look forward to connecting with you in the future. Thanks.